Thank you for the children. Thank you for this program. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lay your hands upon us. Anoint us by your power. Open our understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes before we go. As we open to the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5. We are not able to take questions on school on Sunday today because of time. We'll take the questions next time. Also don't forget Wednesday come here with your the sun from your environment. And come fasting too. And when you are coming for Wednesday meeting. If you are the jury wearing kind, please keep it away from, at home. Because we are here to deal with the arrows of the sand. This school on Sunday is tied to the spirit of Methuselah. The spirit of Methuselah. In Genesis chapter 5, verse 21. Genesis 5, 21. If you are there, say yes. Genesis 5, 21. Sisters, what is our topic? I can't hear the sisters. And brothers. Genesis 5, 21. And Enoch lived 60 and 5 years. And begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God. After he begat Methuselah. 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God and it was not for God took him. Enoch was the first man who did not die. He walked into heaven with his legs. He did not taste death. But he had a qualification. He walked with God. May you walk with God. It's a great prayer. I, your hearing is not loud enough. Only one qualification. A walk with God. A walk with God. There was a white missionary. Very powerful man of God. He had made up his mind that he was not going to marry. He believed that marriage would not make him to serve God very well. And he continued serving God. But at the age of 39, one day he began to read Genesis chapter 5. And he got to Enoch. And he read that Enoch begat children. And yet Enoch walked with God. And he moved so close to God, God took him away. He now saw that marriage was not going to be his problem. And he changed his mind. May you walk with God. One teacher in a children's Sunday school, got a sermon from a small boy. He was teaching on Enoch. And he just threw a question at the children. He said, children, they said Enoch walked with God and it was not. For God took him. What do you understand? This small boy said, teacher, I think I understand. It means that God and Enoch were friends. So they would talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. In the night, God will escort Enoch back to his house. Enoch will sometimes escort God back to his house. He said, teacher, I think one day, Enoch escorted God back to his own house and refused to come back to his own house. That was the simple explanation the boy gave. May you walk with God. Enoch walked with God and it was not for God to kill. Verse 25. And Methuselah lived an hundred eighty and seven years and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech seven hundred eighty and two years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were nine hundred sixty and nine years. And he died. The oldest man in the Bible was Methuselah. Who was the father of Methuselah? The father of Methuselah was Enoch. The man who walked with God and God took him away. The only one who did not experience death. He walked with God and God was so pleased with him 
that he went away. Bible scholars we know. If they ask them, who was the first prophet in the Bible? The first prophet in the Bible, really, if you look at it, Enoch could be the answer. Because he foretold the second coming of Jesus Christ. Even at that early time when God took him away. Enoch walked with God and it was not for God took him. Who you walk with decides your destination. Who you walk with, who you follow, decides what follows you. Enoch now had a child called Methuselah. Today we have first name, middle name, last name. In the Bible days, we just have one name. People didn't begin to have plenty names until 1100 AD due to population explosion and it started in Europe. Metu means death or one dying. Selah means he shall come. So his name is when he dies, he shall come. Metu Selah was old. But the only thing he could present to this our world is his old age. No achievement whatsoever apart from his age. His father walked with God. We did not read that, you know, that Methuselah walked with God. His father was a friend of the Almighty. Four fathers built altars to serve God. We did not read that Methuselah built any altar. Methuselah had qualified for what you call big for nothing. Or the kind of song they taught us in our primary school. Tito Loto Bi Bang Bang Asia Koleja Tito Loto Bi Bang Bang That's Methuselah. Just huge but cannot fight. There is plenty of people in the house of God with the spirit of Methuselah in them. Those with Methuselah spirits I say I've been in there longer than everybody else, but you can show nothing for it. I was carrying the bag of the early missionary who started work in Nigeria. I was the one supplying dry milk to a giant crowder when he was around. Apostle Babaola was saying in our house, I was opening the door for the car of Idahosa. All those ones you are saying is story, story, story. Once upon a time, 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 time. I'm a foundational member. Story. I was there in the beginning. Story. Story. Telling stories does not move people forward. The father of Methuselah left a legacy for him. A legacy of righteousness and holiness. He did not continue where his father stopped. I'm sure Enoch probably kept praying, pleading with God. Say, Father, this is my true boy. Me too, this may too boy. God help me too now. Please prolong his life. He's not doing well. It's okay. I give him 100 years more. 100 years again, me too. I've not done anything. Um, God said, Me too is not what we use. It's useless to us. Let's take him away. His father, who is a friend of God, said, Please, I leave me too alone. Give him 100 years more. So God kept prolonging his life. For adventure, he will change. But Metu did not work with God. Brother Metu did not change. There are plenty Metus, even inside Mountain of Fire, who are in Mountain of Fire. Mountain of Fire is not in them. They will pray, 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 pray. God puts them in an important position. When they get there, they will be the first person to break all the laws of the Bible. When they get there, all the things they didn't used to do when they were praying for breakthrough, they will go and buy it now. Because it is the spirit of Metu. Noah was a grandson of Methuselah. Methuselah gave birth to somebody who gave birth to Noah. Noah began to build the ark. All the time Noah was building the ark, Metu was still alive. He must have come to be looking at him. Small boy, what are you building? What are you building here? He must have seen when the ark was being built. Possibly, Metu was part of those who built the ark. But Methuselah did not enter that ark. Most probably, it was the flood of Noah that carried Methuselah away. Most likely, he died in the flood. Why could he not enter the ark? Why did he live for almost a millennium without anything recorded on his name? 
Apart from he gave birth to this, he gave birth to that. Apart from the birth of children, there's nothing he had achieved. Perhaps you are here, coming to Mountain of Fire, but nothing to show for you. Choir, you are not there. Usher, you are not a member. Anything you don't do, just hear the grace to carry your bag and you go. And you have been here long. Your daughters are dressing like a lot outside. You have been here long. Your children are polluting the youth church. You have been here long. But your children dress one kind to church, one kind outside. It is the spirit of Metuo, and it's a spirit you should bind. The spirit of Methuselah is a spirit that is big for nothing. The spirit of stagnancy. Fireless spiritual life. Constant harassment in the dream. The enemy only harasses in the dream those that have not enough fire. Lack of heavenly vision. You are coming to church, you have never seen the rapture. You have never dreamed of heaven. You have never seen any angel. Ah, it is the spirit of me too, I'm telling you now. You are coming to church. The same thing, repent, repent, repent. They are telling you and you have not repented. You are coming to the house of God. We are still settling your quarrel. You are quarreling. You are quarreling with somebody. They are still calling you, don't quarrel, don't fight. Don't fight. You need to change. You've been married for 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. You and your wife, you are still slapping each other. The spirit of me too has envied up your marriage. The marriage is not growing. At 12 years, you are fighting, you are slapping each other. You need to wake up. When a person is incubated in the shell of darkness, it is the spirit of Methuselah. When a person is coming to church, you are living your life without purpose. Aimless life. It is the spirit of Methuselah. When you are lesser than where God wants you to be, it is the spirit of Methuselah. When you are in slumber in the spirit, you have slept off. You are just coming to church. You have slept off. It's the spirit of Methuselah. When you are claiming authority, I bind you. I cast you out. But the same thing you are binding and casting out. They are telling you, no, you can't bind us, you can't cast it out. It is the spirit of Methuselah. When your spiritual eyes are blind, others are going from strength to strength and from glory to glory, but you keep coming down. It is the spirit of Medusa. You brought one wife to church. Now you have number two. Now you have number three. It's not progress. It is the spirit of Medusa. The Bible says, at what time you should have been a teacher? The time you ought to have been a teacher. Now they have to sit you down again. And begin to teach you the fundamental principle of faith. It is the spirit of Methuselah. How can you be comfortable in a church like this? You don't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Others are speaking in tongues. You can't speak anything. Are you comfortable? Others are saying, I saw the Lord. One woman dragged, she dragged a six-year-old daughter to me this morning. Six-year-old daughter, this early morning. The girl woke up crying. A six-year-old girl woke up crying. I saw Jesus. I saw rapture. I saw Jesus. I saw rapture. I want to go with him. A six year old girl. If you are coming to church, no vision of heaven, no revelation of heaven, it is Methuselah spirit. Something is strong that you have to bind and cast out. And the reason Methuselah spirit has captured many people in the church, because we're strong in the wrong things. The Bible says, be strong in what? In the Lord. Be strong in what? In the Lord. Be strong in what? In the Lord. But we are strong in the wrong things. That's what brings me to Salah Spirit. Many Christians are very strong in politics. They start discussing politics like this. They have studied everything in politics. He knows it very well. But after his party has lost and loses his position, he will now know that it is better to be strong in the Lord. We are strong in the wrong, wrong things. Many Christians are strong in football. They know who is playing, who is not playing. They know the name of all the European players. Whether it's Messi, whether it's Lampard, whether it's Rooney, they know everything. They know the Nigerian players. They know the one from South Africa, from Cote d'Ivoire. But they don't know the names of 12 disciples of Jesus. This is Methuselah Spirit. Many are very strong in business. They devote the totality of their energy for business and for making money. It's not bad to be strong in those things. But you must be strong in the Lord. Be stronger in the Lord. When you look at history, 
Those who have committed the totality of their life to making money, by the time they die, you wonder whether the money was really worth it. That is really, really worth it. When you look at their lives after they are dead, some are very strong in dressing, especially the ladies. They are strong in dressing and making their hair. Ladies spend a long, long, long time in dressing and looking so beautiful. Look at us here this morning now. But our ladies are beautifully dressed, looking elegant. But let me tell you one secret. If you follow some of them home, to the room where they dress up to come to church this morning, rubbish is just plain. The place is in a mess. The pant is under the bed. This is under here. Everywhere is upside down. So the dressing she has dressed to church it is the opposite in her room. If it's a lie, let us follow you home. <laughs> Many are strong in sexual activities. It's like they have read all sexual manuals. They know how to do everything. They know how to do all kinds of terrible things. That is what they have mastered. Whereas the Bible says, be strong in the Lord. They are strong in approaching ladies. They are strong in seduction. Many are strong in stinginess. They just keep, they keep, they keep, they hold, they hold, they hold. They have money, they are holding it. They have things, they are holding it. I don't know what you want to do with 200 shoes. I don't know what you want to do with 200 blouses. Holding and holding and holding and holding that. Instead of being strong in the Lord. When you are strong in the wrong things like this, you become a modern day Methuselah. Examine your life, beloved. Perhaps, even as I'm speaking this morning, the axe is raised up. And God said, let me cut this man down. He's just coming to church. Church is not in him. Let me cut him down. Jesus said, leave him alone. Let us give him one more year. So if he doesn't bring fruit, then we can cut him down. Are you here this morning? And the spirit of Methuselah has enveloped your life. You need to pray. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. It is not good for you to be coming to a dynamic church like Mountain of Fire. And you are a spiritual dwarf. Every member of the Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry is supposed to be a terror to the kingdom of darkness. They are supposed to be contributors, not consumers. You contribute to how the work will go on. You contribute to it. What are you contributing to this place? If you are not contributing anything, every contribution is not money. You can contribute advice. You can contribute your talent. You can contribute your influence. You can contribute the people you know, but when you contribute nothing, and you say we have been there long, we were there from the beginning. It is Methuselah spirit. Heaven will not listen to we have been there from the beginning. In fact, by the calculation of heaven, it said the first shall be the last. It said many shall arrive at the kingdom of God, and they will see prostitutes as the first people on the king. How did these ones get here? Yes, why they were repenting and running. You were busy saying, we have been there long. We have been there long. And when they say repent, change your ways. Instead of you to change. It's, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. That problem is general. I am not alone. So everybody's doing it. So I must do it. It's a very terrible thing. I've carried out some statistics here. I've said that even those who have been here long, some of the steps that today they can't take it. Their children are rebelling against them. They can't control their home. Why? Because you are contributing nothing. There is no urge to grow. There is no urge to bring fire. There is no urge to be an instrument of change. They're just patching up and pretending. And God hates pretense. He likes sincerity. Sincerity. Do you know there are parents here? Who will tell their children in the youth church? So, ah, 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 small, 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 small. Ah, ah, ah. This young is becoming too serious. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. Ah, ah. Palo, 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 palo. Ah, no. Where are your earrings? So, mommy, I'm not using them again. Where are the trousers you used to wear? So, mommy, they told us it's not good. So, ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. Although I asked you to go, I don't want you to be that serious. And they have been here. That's a problem. The spirit and power of Methuselah. I'd captured them. Big for nothing. No contribution. 
Close your eyes. This is not a money to joke. And don't say, I don't think I'm concerned. If you, whether you think you are concerned or not, pray this prayer with aggression. Pray with aggression. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. With a voice that roars like thunder, you will cry to the heavens like this. If heaven has rendered your position vacant, Isaiah was here, was calling himself a prophet. But in heaven, they were saying, Who shall we send? Who shall go for us? What else is there? So, as far as heaven was concerned, his position has been rendered vacant. They have advertised his position at the notice board of heaven. He was there. And they said, Who shall we send now? Who shall we send? You will open your mouth like fire and like thunder. Powers! Assigned to render me spiritually impotent. Your voice is not loud enough. 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 Dad! In the name of Jesus. Baparia da katale katanda. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. The psalmist says, Though I dwell in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou I dwell in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. More than at any other time in our history and as believers, we need revival. We seriously need it. We need revival. We need the kind of revival that will shut down the houses of darkness. If there are ten rapists on our streets and we convert nine of them, only one will be left. But if we don't have enough power to convert them, know for sure that what the rapists are doing will affect us. The average Christian of nowadays carries so little fire that things just go haywire. It is an insult on your salvation. For somebody to put juju in the mouth, he talks to you and you obey. It's an insult on your salvation. Somebody slaps you and you lose your senses. It's an insult on your salvation for which is to be drinking your blood. It is because of this Methuselah spirit. Big for nothing. Big but cannot fight. You will raise your voice again like fire and like thunder. And this is the final prayer we are praying here today. It's a simple prayer. But powerful prayer. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Revive me! In the name of Jesus! Jesus name we pray I stopped it because the Lord brought three women to me he said they are not praying hard he said they are not praying hard the house is possessed the husband is possessed and the strange man is running after your life and yet you are praying this prayer like a child's play when the spirit of revival comes upon you and you become a fire woman go before anyone who took your name anywhere where is the Lord God of Elijah? Lord, revive me in the name of Jesus. Woman, 
hand, open your mouth and pray. Revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me, revive me. If you have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, begin to pray in tongues, begin to pray in tongues. If you have received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, begin to pray in tongues. Be revived, be revived. Be revived. Jesus, them we pray. Makate sete abosham. Riba pia ni katenga pola makate. Be revived, 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 be revived. Be revived, be revived, be revived, be revived. That's a fire, it's coming up on you. Father, we thank you. Continue to lay your hands upon us. Mobilize heavens to help us. Cover your people with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray.